So welcome everyone to the second episode of SFS Kids. What did you think of last week's? Did you enjoy it? Well, you must have thought it was okay or else you wouldn't have bothered to start watching again this week. Or did somebody say that you had to? Whatever the reason, it's lovely to have you with us this morning. We've got all kinds of good stuff coming up. We've got Nat with another Bible story and a cool craft activity. But before that, we're going to sing together. So are you ready to sing? Are you ready? Come on, you're not. Up on your feet. Get ready to sing and to join in with the actions. For the guitar. Burger. God's love is bigger than a burger, it is bigger than a mouse, bigger than an elephant and bigger than a house, bigger than a bus and bigger than a tree, bigger than a mountain, bigger than the sea. What about a cloud? What about the sky? What about the earth? What about the moon? What about the sun? What about the stars? Is anything bigger than this big love? Uh, no. Big and wonderful, big and Bigger than an elephant and bigger than a house Bigger than a bus and bigger than a tree Bigger than a mountain, bigger than the sea What about a cloud? What about the sky? What about the earth? What about the moon? What about the sun? And what about the stars? Is anything bigger than this big love? Uh, no. Big and wonderful, big and I love that song and I hope you did as well. But I don't know about you, but I'm quite tired now, so I need to sit down and rest. So I want you to make yourselves comfortable and listen now to Nat, who's going to tell us a story about two men, one called Paul and one called Silas, who travel around telling people about Jesus. And they've got to a city where they've got into trouble for doing that and they've been thrown into prison. Scary stuff. Over to you, Nat. Hello and welcome to Virtual Sunday School. Grab your drink and a biscuit and let's do this. When you're stuck at home with time to spare, can't go outside, you're not going anywhere. Why don't you pull up a chair or pull up a suit, tune into Virtual Sunday School. We're the craft to do and a story or two. Say hello to Nat, she's stuck at home too. Why not tune in to Virtual Sunday School? Today, we're going to look at the theme of sacrifice. We're going to look at a story from the Bible, some fun crafts, some creative prayers, and then finish with a final thought. Today, we're going to look at the story of Paul and Silas in prison, which can be found in Acts chapter 16, verses 23 to 36. To help us tell the story today, I would like to introduce you to Reggie and Dilly. Now Reggie is going to be playing the part of Silas, Dilly is going to be the jailer and as well as telling the story, I am going to play Paul. Now Reggie and Dilly aren't the only ones who are going to help me today, actually I'm going to need your help as well. Now whenever Silas says, can we go out? yet I need you guys to join in with me by saying no not yet let's have a practice can we go out yet no not yet excellent 
Now let's tell the story. One day, Paul and Silas were thrown into prison and the jailer was told to guard them very carefully. To make sure they couldn't escape, the jailer put them into the innermost cell and put chains around their feet. Paul and Silas were stuck in prison. Silas said, can we go out yet? No, not yet. They had to stay there all night and prison isn't a very exciting place. It's easy to get bored. And Silas got very bored. Can we go out yet? No, not yet. Instead, Paul and Silas found a great way to pass the time by praying and singing praises to God. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Finally, it got to midnight and they were still singing and still praying and all the other prisoners could hear them. Then suddenly, there was an earthquake! Ah! All the prison doors flew open, all the chains fell off and they could leave the prison! Silas said, finally, can we go out now? No, not yet. Now the jailer had been asleep and when he woke up, he was so scared. If his boss thought that he'd let all these prisoners escape, then... <sighs> Wait, Paul said. We're all still here. He fell before Paul and Silas and asked them, what must I do to be saved? Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, Paul said. That night, the jailer took Paul and Silas out of their prison cell and round to his house and they shared a meal with his family and talked all about Jesus so that the jailer and all his family became Christians. Well, now they were out of their jail cell, so Silas asked, Can we stay out now? But you know what Paul replied? No, not yet. You see, they were still under arrest, so they went back into prison and trusted that God would find a solution. The very next morning, a message came from the jailer's boss telling him to release Paul and Silas and that they could go in peace. Can we go out now? Yes. Yes, we can. At first, Paul and Silas were stuck in prison. But after the earthquake, there was nothing stopping them from leaving. But they didn't. They trusted God and made a sacrifice. And by staying in prison, they saved the jailer's life. At the moment, lots of us are stuck inside. And like Paul and Silas after the earthquake, there's nothing stopping us from leaving. But we too can trust in God and make a sacrifice for the good of other people to help keep them and us safe. Craft time! Craft time! Now it's time for crafts! <laughs> As Paul and Silas were in chains in prison, today we are going to make some paper chains. For today's craft, you will need some paper which we can cut into strips and either a stapler, some sellotape or some glue. And if you'd like to decorate your chains, grab some stuff for that as well. You'll need to cut your paper into strips to make the chains. You could use coloured paper or plain paper, which you could decorate to make it nice and bright and colourful. For the first chain, simply curl your paper into a circle and attach the ends with a stapler, some glue or sellotape. From now on though, you'll need to make sure that you put your paper through the last chain before attaching the ends. Otherwise, your chains won't be connected. At the end, you'll have a paper chain, which you could use to decorate your house, you could use to help you retell this week's Bible story, or you could make a few chains and pop them in your window to help brighten up the neighbourhood. Although we're stuck at home, we still have so much to be thankful for. 
Paul and Silas didn't have any of the amazing things that we've got now and they still praise God. Today we are going to draw a present on a piece of paper and then in each of the four corners we are going to draw or write something that we are thankful for, that we have or can do right here at home. And these are going to be our gifts of thanks and praise to God. And so a final thought. Paul and Silas made a sacrifice to help someone else. Even when they could have gone free, they stayed in prison. And you know, we can make that same sacrifice today by staying at home even when we're finding it hard. Remember, Paul and Silas got out of prison in the end and we won't be stuck indoors forever. See you next week! Why not tune in to Virtual Sunday School? Thanks Nat, that was brilliant. Thank you for telling us about Paul and Silas. How amazing of Paul and Silas not to run from prison when they could have done because they knew that that would get the jailer in trouble. How amazing of them to be so kind and thoughtful. And when we try to follow Jesus, it means that we need to try and live like he lived, to be more like him every day. That's what it means to be a follower of Jesus. So I've got a little prayer now that might help us to do that. So let's pray. Lord Jesus, help us to be more like you every day. We thank you that you love us and that you want the very best for each one of us. Amen. Being a follower of Jesus is called being a disciple. And we've got another song now, a new song, that I hope you're going to like, that is called I Wanna Be a disciple. I hope you're ready to sing. Are you ready? No, you're not. You're sitting down on your feet. Come on, everybody up. And we're going to sing together. I want to be a disciple. They say Jesus uses people just like ourselves. When it comes to Jesus' disciples, there's more than just 12. We've got John the Baptist, Lazarus, the woman at the well, or Mary and Martha, or Mary, 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 Mary. The people that he healed, the people that followed one day, disciples too. I wanna be a disciple, hey, 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 of Jesus Christ, my King. Following God's a disciple, hey, 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 giving your Lord everything. You and your kingdom, that's what my life is for. Jesus is God, Father and Lord. As disciples, I wanna be one more. Doesn't stop at 12, he wants people like me and you Don't get up and loot 10, Jesus' disciples grow by an extra 72 And even after death and resurrection, raising to heaven He's looking to increase the squad anyway On the day of Pentecost There were 3,000 new disciples in one day I wanna be a disciple Of Jesus Christ my King Following as a disciple Giving your Lord everything it for this week. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for singing along and listening to Nat and doing the craft activity as well. I hope you've had a lovely time and you've really, really enjoyed it. And we will be back next week.
But we're going to finish off now by saying the grace together. Do you remember how we did it this last week? Uh, last week, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And when you get to that Amen at the end, you can actually jump up in the air and shout it out as loud as you possibly can. So are you ready? On your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Excellent. Well done. Right. See you all next week. Bye.